Hello, this is Erica with Cramfighter. Cramfighter is a simple software tool that med students can use to create a personalized study schedule for their board exams. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Cramfighter to create a four-week study schedule for the USMLE Step 1. You can visit cramfighter.com to sign up for a seven-day free trial and build your own schedule with no credit card required. You can also visit our site to download free Excel sample schedules as a starting point for your own study plan. Here's what the Excel version looks like for a four-week sample schedule using the four most popular Step 1 resources we see our customers adding to their schedules at Cramfighter. UWorld, First Aid, Bethoma, and Sketchy Micro. In the Excel version, work is broken out by book and lecture tasks and by UWorld questions, and each task is labeled with exactly what material to review in each task. Again, this is just a sample suggested schedule that you can use as a starting point to build a schedule that will get you through all those resources in the time allotted. So let's get started. I've already created an account and signed up for the free seven day trial. So we're looking at the first step of building this schedule. On this first page, you'll actually choose the exam that you're taking and enter your exam date. Because today is April 19th, Four weeks out from now is April or May 17th, so I'll go ahead and select that date and add the exam. On the next step, I'll edit my study block. Now study blocks are sort of like, you can think of them as mini schedules within your overall schedule with a specific goal to be accomplished. For example, you might set up a study block to complete a round of UWorld world questions in a certain amount of time, or you might set up a period of intense studying and a period of light studying. It all depends on your personal preferences. For this particular demo, because I'm only building a four week study schedule, it's going to be a very short, sweet and intense study schedule. And I'm only gonna use one study block to cover the whole period. So the default starts with the start date as today and ends the day before your exam date. I'll hit save study block. On this page, this is when you actually enter in any catch up days and unscheduled days that is days when Cramfighter will not assign you any study tasks. We do recommend that all schedules have some catch up days because after all, studying for step one is a marathon, not a sprint. There's a lot of work to get through and you will fall behind. So you can use catch up days to do just that catch up. However, on this particular schedule, because it's only four weeks long, it looks like we only have one catch up day and that is on day 21. In Cramfighter, remove the option to have a recurring study day, a uh, catch up day, and instead hit never on this. You can also add in days that you're planning to take a practice exam. So we'll block off that day and no study tasks will be assigned on that day. With the shortness and intensity of this study schedule, there are no practice exams recommended or blocked out. So I will leave that alone, but here's where I'll enter in the unscheduled day that's recommended on the study schedule on day 21. So if day 28 is the 17th, day 21 is going to be the 10th. So I'll block that off and I'll just label it a free study day. You can repeat this process for adding in any, any other days that you wanna kind of black out and tell Cramfighter not to put any study tasks on that day. When those all look good, you go to the next step. This is the page on which you add your resources that you're going to be using to study. So as I mentioned, we're going to be using the four most popular resources that we see our customers adding to their schedule starting with you world. You can either scroll down that extensive list of resources that we support or just use this search box and predictive text will bring up the matching resources. That's a lot easier to do. So then I'll click on you world. On this page, it'll actually ask you the total number of questions that you might wanna get through or you can tell it a daily number of questions that you need to answer. It looks like we are looking at 80 you world questions per day. For every day of the week, I'm gonna enter in 80 based on the recommendation in that sample schedule. Hit save to move to the next screen, which actually brings me back to the resource screen because I'm going to continue adding the remaining three resources in this particular schedule. So the second one is gonna be first aid for the USMLE step one, 2019. Here we go. For book and lecture resources, Cramfighter actually allows you to, if you wanted to, cherry pick the uh, different chapters or lectures that you wanna add to this particular study block. So you can you know, 
just check them off one by one. Or because I need to just get through the whole book in this four week schedule, I'm going to use this button to select all the chapters and they'll all be added to my study plan. The next resource is Pathoma. Same thing, I can cherry pick or select all. For this demo, I'm just going to add them all to my schedule. There's a lot of them, but they're all short. So select that. And then finally, Sketchy Micro. Add that one. Repeat the process to add all the chapters, or all the lectures in this case. And then we can see here, this list has been growing. These are all the resources that we've added to this particular study block. So I will point out at this point that we have a kind of warning system that goes here that tells you if what you're trying to do is either too ambitious based on the time you have allotted and the amount of resources that you need to get through, or if it's below what we see student average of people adding to their schedule. So in this case, we're really aggressive on the UWorld questions. Um, looks like we're looking at about 27 uh, per hour, which is a lot, and versus the student average of 12. But we knew that kind of going in. It's a very short, sweet, and intense, as I mentioned, study schedule. So that's just there to kind of put some guardrails in place and kind of guide you if you're being too aggressive. So um, that's all that that refers to at this moment. But We've added all the resources that we want to include on this study block, so I'm going to go ahead and hit continue to progress to the next step. On this page, this is where CramFighter allows you to sort your book and lecture topics if you wanted to look at them grouped by body system, or if you just wanted to go cover to cover and look through the resources, or I should say, get study tasks assigned to you, basically cover to cover in the order that the publisher put the resources av available. So we, we do see most customers uh, grouping their study tasks by body system or subject. And you can further customize that by uh, dragging and dropping in the order that you want to go through items. So you can kind of customize that as it works best for you using these little drag and drop features. Once that looks good, same thing as before, you'll hit the save button. And then that takes you to the next page, which is where you tell CramFighter how many hours that you want to spend on the resources that you've selected each day. And it breaks out, again, the study hours by book and lecture and question bank. It looks like I have four plus two. I have six book and lecture study hours and three QBank hours. So let me go back to that. So for every day, I'm going to enter in six book and lecture. The default sets to three question bank hours per day. So I'll just leave that, but I'll change all these others to six. On this page, this is where you can look at all of the items that you just entered on the previous steps. So I can see the dates of my study block, where my unscheduled day is, and the resources that I've selected in the sort type. So once all that looks good, I hit Finish and View Schedule, and CramFighter will generate the schedule for me based on all those items that we just finished entering. So here we go. This is what the output looks like when CramFighter has built your daily study schedule. You basically get a day-by-day -day and a task-by-task -task breakdown of all of the things that you need to do on each particular day with very particular instructions of, the, in, in this example, the name of the lecture, or in this case, if it's a book, it tells you the pages of the book that you need to read. As you go through and you complete these tasks, you'll just check them off and CramFighter grays them out. CramFighter also has a feature where you can output this to a PDF in case you know you're going to be offline and not able to access your digital CramFighter uh, schedule. So you can just do that and generate a PDF and print it from here. The other thing to note is that CramFighter schedules are dynamic and can be modified quickly and easily with our rebalance feature. This actually refers to if you find yourself falling behind and you don't complete tasks on the day they were assigned. They'll actually show up in this overdue tab. The rebalance feature is really the magic of CramFighter. If we had those overdue tasks and then use the rebalance feature, which of course is not live now and can't really, I mean, it's live, but we can't use it because we don't have any overdue tasks. Um, CramFighter will act automatically recalculate your overdue tasks to future days, basically reworking your schedule with the push of a button. 
So that's actually the complete overview of building a four-week schedule in CramFighter. Please visit CramFighter.com. If you want to sign up for a seven-day fully featured free trial, you can also download our free mobile apps available on iOS or Android to sync your new schedule from CramFighter.com to your mobile device. Just search for CramFighter in the App Store or the Play Store. Thank you for watching, and good luck on your boards.